Hey, what's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're talking plants, that's why. All right, and we're going to look at those here in a moment. Now, on my last video, I said uh, anyone who left a comment, I would pick someone random to shout out to. Here's a screenshot of them. Shout out to Toothpick Dinosaur and shout out to Matt Dowling. Thank you so much for commenting. And I will do the same on this video. All right. And a couple months ago, I put up a community post, uh, you know, requesting that if you as a subscriber would like your uh, aquarium featured on one of my videos, all you had to do was go to the email, send me a video or a photograph of your aquarium, and I would put it up. Well, I got good news. I got at least one person. And if you make it all the way through the end of the video, I'm going to feature that person's uh, aquarium. Uh, they, uh, this person's name is uh, Angie Moore, and she has been watching for a couple years and wanted to show off her gorgeous tank that she's made out of dirt. I will post it up at the end. But today, today is a great day, and that's because I got croutons to grow in an aquarium. I'm the first one. I, I'm serious. Go ahead. Google, YouTube, Croton Care, Croton and Aquarium. Propagating Crotons. You will find no videos or anyone suggesting that you can grow a Croton plant. Yes, one of these in an aquarium. And I pulled it off and I will show uh, what it looks like now. It has officially been in the aquarium for three months, two weeks. And I had made a, a houseplant video a couple months ago. Say maybe I'll eat my words in a month when we do a follow-up. Nope. It is doing great and I can't wait to show everyone. Uh, and we'll talk about, I, I have a thermometer, so we'll, you know, read the temp, talk about humidity, what kind of water parameters it likes. So if you want to do it, now we know, because it can be done. All right? Lies. All the lies. Well, I don't know if they're lies. I just think nobody has truly figured it out. Uh, and I just happened to stumble on the perfect water for it. Uh, and, you know, so, and we'll talk about that. Give me a minute. And we'll go check out the new Croton. Here's what it looked like a couple months ago and also the video that I had featured it on. And uh, let's go from there. All right. So here we are. Now, here's the Croton. Now, for those of you who didn't watch the video, this is what it looked like two months ago. And here's where we're at now. And it, like I said before, it has been in here for three months. So we're going to talk about a couple things here. This is my Croton. All right. First, let's talk about the color. How come these leaves, the older ones, have red and yellow and purple and all that, and the new ones are green? Well, the reds and the darker colors actually do not uh, until later, well, once they've matured. And you do need to provide very bright light for these colors. If your light's not bright enough, the reds will not form. Uh, and this is all new growth. Uh, you, you know, I mean, it is doing awesome. Uh, so let's also talk about the temperature because like I said this plant there is no video recording of someone successfully growing this in water or in an aquarium uh, and it just happened to be exactly what this uh, croton needed all right now the water temp if you use a laser um, temperature uh, gauge like this this is a generic one but I can tell you that if you use a laser one the temperature will be different if you shoot it through the glass than when you shoot it directly in the water and I'll show you what I mean so let's get a reading, 68. Now let's take a look up from the top. So one degree difference. Now that's not to say that another one can't be close. I mean, one degree, is that a big deal? No. Uh, all right, so, but there is a degree difference. Maybe some were off by several degrees. I don't know. But this one in particular, off by a degree. The humidity is really high. Uh, also, I felt I must have just done everything perfect because it's also directly above the heater which is providing uh humidity here uh, you can get humidity gauges the reason you don't ever see them in the aquarium uh area is because humidity gauges are sold to people who do terrariums and frogs uh where humidity is important um, i already know there's a lot of humidity in here so i have to have a dehumidifier uh let's uh but how much humidity i don't know i do not use tap water i use ro water and here is ro water i remineralize my water uh, with buffers, all right, and we can talk about that on another video. So, twice a day, I missed it 
once in the morning, once in the evening to help with the humidity and keeping the leaves wet. Let's check the dissolved solids and see how much are in here, which it should be pretty low. Um, tropical plants do prefer a bit cleaner water. Three. All right, around. Hovering around 330. Perfect. I like all my tanks around uh, 300 or less. My shrimp tank waters are even more pure than that. But uh, if you have questions about the pH, now the pH on this, it is acidic. Um, we, I can put the parameters in the description as to what exactly here. But what I felt was most important was temperature, lighting, and, and whole how many dissolved solids are in here because everything that I did was perfect for this croton and it is the same croton there's no tomfoolery here uh, you can see roots have started to come through the bottom I did use a substrate some plants do prefer that you use a, a pot even though you're putting it in water with a substrate in it and some don't like this peace lily does just fine with its roots dangling in the water I love peace lilies uh, so yeah I, you'll if, if you want to have success with it, you may have to do exactly what I've done. Maybe it, it prefers water. I don't know. But if you were to go and start looking at videos right now, no YouTuber and not even on Google will say that crotons are going to do this, uh, that they're going to die. It's loving it. And remember, I had an alocasia die in this water, but this water it loves. All right, we are back. And thank you for making it to the end. I'm going to show this lovely video by subscriber Angie Moore, who was so gracious to participate in the video deal I had posted in the community several months ago. Uh, I was scared I was going to get no one. But one person came through, and I'm so proud of this subscriber. No, I do not know this person personally. Um, but they were scared to do Dirt of Tanks until they came across my videos. And she said some lovely stuff. I'm going to let the video of uh, her tank play right here. And if you have any questions about the Croton in particular, um, well, you can ask whatever you want. But feel free to, you know, just drop a comment. Now, I, no matter how long I spend on these videos, I always seem to forget some stuff. So the only dumb questions are the ones that I asked. So don't be scared, you know, just uh, ask away. But... I'm mostly excited for the fact that I was able to prove that crotons can grow in water. Yes, they can. Uh, and they'll do great. Uh, apparently, if it's exactly like my water, because apparently every other water that exists on this planet kills the crotons. Um, but anyway, uh, look at Angie's ballast scenario. She, uh, obviously, a lot of thought went into her plant placement. I don't put too much thought in my plant placement as much as I do like my hardscape. Um, but look at the ballast scenario and all of the lovely plants and you can see, you know, dirt and gravel and just made it fantastic uh, tank. And thank you so much, uh, Angie. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll, I'll try, try this again. Maybe uh, we'll get 20 videos from subscribers next time in my email and I can just make a whole clip. I, I, I'd like to, I don't just want to show my tanks and talk about my stuff. I'd like to see y'all stuff too. Uh, if I could have it my way, we'd all kick it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're down in the dumps, you're having a hard time, remember that the feeling will pass. And get up and do something about it. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time.